guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. This is the third and final part of my trip to Dubai, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you haven't seen part one and part two, make sure you go and check it out. In this video, it's jam-packed with tons of activities I've done in Dubai, including the Go Souk and the Dubai Mall. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and leave some comments down below so I feel encouraged to make more videos. All right, let's get started. It's impossible to talk about Dubai without mentioning the Dubai Mall. I was lucky enough that I stayed right next to the mall, so I was practically there every day, um, eating, shopping, and whatnot. You can do everything in there. You can even ice skate. Shopping at the Dubai Mall now. The Dubai Mall is huge. If you're gonna shop, make sure you have a game plan. So either you know split it up into sections and tackle them one by one, or maybe pick out the stores that you actually want to visit and then you know like plan it out beforehand. Otherwise, you'll be spending a lot of time walking instead of actually shopping. The Dubai ice skating ring at the Dubai Mall. Yes, You have to check out the famous human waterfalls while you're in the Dubai Mall. It's massive for an indoor waterfall. You can see it actually from all floors in the mall. The main mall is connected to the souk by an open bridge. A souk is essentially like a market. Um, the one near the Dubai Mall actually sells, well, just about everything. And it has restaurants inside too. Um, the point is the bridge is actually a great place to watch the water fountain show and also to see the Burj Khalifa. on the list while you're in the Dubai Mall is the Dubai Aquarium. You can actually see the tank from several areas in the mall without having to pay for a ticket. But if you want an actual experience, you can pay for a ticket to get in, which is what we did. Even though the aquarium is not very big, it has the animals that you could possibly want to see. The giant crocodiles were really, really impressive. And then of course you get the adorable penguins and sea otters. beautiful resorts, tall buildings, um, the Dubai Mall. But if you really want to see the real Dubai, make sure that you visit the Old Dera, which is the old town of Dubai. 
Since I stayed next to the Dubai Mall, I had to take a metro to go to the old era area. Um, the metro is actually very convenient and very clean. So for lunch, I got to have some awesome Middle Eastern food. Um, and then we walked around in the old town area to see, you know, the arabesque architecture and the historical neighborhood. There are quite a lot of souks around the area. The most famous are the herbs, perfume, and gold. Souk, you'll see that humongous cold ring which actually won a um, Guinness World Record. This was the first time that I'm doing gold shopping so I was really excited. Um, there are actually quite a lot of stores and options so it's a good thing that I knew that I wanted to get a thin gold bracelet so I looked specifically for that. Gold prices are different every day so the stores will usually have the daily rates up on the wall um, and it would be the same in every store. So that's not something that you have to worry about. Um, how they calculate the price of the jewelry is that they take the weight of that piece of jewelry and then they, um, depending on how intricate the details are, um, they would add another price on top of that. So obviously the jewelry that's you know thin will cost less because it weighs less, but then if it's more complicated to make, then it will cost more. Also, 24 and 18 karat gold um, are quite different in price and also in color. So 24 is a lot more yellow than the 18. The original plan for me was to get the 24 karat gold, but I realized that they're actually quite vulnerable. So say if you slam it against the door or if you drop it or something happens to it, it's easy for it to get bent out of shape. I know that I'm not the most graceful person, so I decided not to take that risk. And also they didn't really have the designs that I want in 24 karat anyway. So I ended up getting an 18 karat, super nice, thin gold bracelet. We had some Middle Eastern food for dinner at Lagma, and then we went to the Mall of the Emirates for some skiing. So a ski Dubai is actually separated into two areas. One is the actual skiing area, and one is an entertainment area that's on ice. At the entertainment area of Ski Dubai, you can roll on these giant snowballs, go down on ice slides, and of course, you can't miss those adorable penguins. Skiing, we decided to do a beginner's lesson for one hour. We're so high up. <laughs> break, 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 break. I can't break. <laughs> no, no. The struggle yes. is real. Yes. Oh, yes. She got up. Yes. <laughs> You can actually enter and exit the Ski Dubai area multiple times a day. So it's nice because you can ski for a while and then have some dinner and then you know even do some shopping and then you can go back in to ski again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye!